Should I be honest? Yes. Yeah. I'll decide if it goes in the video. Okay. <laughs> I'm doing the Jigger Johnson 100 mile. I am 36 hours in, though it feels like 35. Uh, feels like it's been a while, but it does feel less than two and a half days. So it's been one and a half. Very positive. The weather's been incredible. The aid stations are extremely supportive and fun. Uh, and I've been blessed to have a number of friends come pace me and, and alternate and cheer me on so it's just been a really wonderful weekend for me uh, my brother my cousin and then two friends uh, from college I have I did the mid-state massive uh, two years ago <laughs> it's a little apples and oranges so this is a unique experience I think just being able to explore the whites and see some of the the incredible views and just tackle some of the more challenging terrain and mountains here is has been a blast honestly yeah yeah um a gentleman by the name of matt was also doing the 100 miler uh, and so we spent the night running together and chatting and um, <clears throat> this is his first attempt at 100 miles so which i found actually remarkably wise because he didn't know what he was getting into, but he was doing a great job and we were helping each other along and uh, just keeping each other company. So got a bit of his life story and his background and what he does for work and you know, anything we can fill the time with as we go through the night. Yeah, yeah, so we went, we did Atatash, uh, North Boat, South Boat, and then kind of went separate ways coming back up south moat uh, slightly different paces um, and wish him all the best I think he's somewhere behind and was looking in great shape when I when we parted ways so I'm hoping he's still on his way myself uh, I'm from Cumberland Maine so local yeah I've had an awesome spring exploring uh, a lot of the trail and, and just kind of making sure I'm prepared for it and then also doing things like Sugarloaf and Saddleback and the Mahusik Traverse so it's a it's an amazing part of the country and to have it right in the backyard for so many amazing day hikes and trips uh, is a blast. No I think that lake right there in the town center is begging to just be sat in for a bit and just let everything soak and sweat and dirt kind of fall away so uh, I, think that I probably won't be allowed in the car until I do that anyway so I think it'll be like two in the morning when I finish yeah, the gonna be <laughs> but oh yeah, yeah friends family ah, the aid stations uh, just the incredible support from the race director and all the knowledge and information they shared it's funny I ran into Jackie and Nick and I was like I know you, you don't know me, but I'm a big fan of yours. Uh, so, kind of cheered for them. We passed each other on the boats. Uh, so, hoping they're doing well too. Uh, <clears throat> we did them boats last night from, I think from two o'clock we hit North Moat to like 3.30 we were at South Moat. And just, it's one day away from the full moon and the stars were out and I was with friends and it was just like a really cool experience to have the views and it was calm and warm um, and you could see you know 360 degree views uh, lit up by the moon which you know, was just incredible. So, this, is, <laughs> this is pretty much it yeah. I'm looking forward to getting the belt buckle and uh, taking a nap. <laughs> yeah my name is Rainer Large um, and I'm a a proud participant of the Jigger Johnson 100.